Um, USGS, in our role as a provider of uh, important science, has been tasked with coming up with a more accurate estimate of how much bait fish the lake can support uh, by using Tetis, in this case, to study the abundance and distribution of food for fish in the lake, food for bait fish specifically. <laughs> <laughs> Five people on one side of the boat. Six. Well, he'll respond eventually. Oh, yeah. At least he didn't post it. Oh, no, 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 I wouldn't do that. That's just the kind of thing, you know, it's right up the alley. Of, you know, the Say the yellow portion here, that's all sealed off, and that sits in one atmosphere. So everything in there is dry. Uh, all the batteries are in there, the computer systems, everything that turns on and off the electronics is all in here. And then underneath these two orange sections is, is our science instruments up front. And that's all flooded, so everything up there is wet. Uh, we've got a CTD in here, oxygen sensing. We have a chlorophyll sensor on the bottom. And then in the back, uh, we've of course got the propeller shaft and the actuators. The elevators make it go up and down. The rudder, of course, steers it. And then inside, the batteries can actually move forward and back on a, on a track as well. So this thing can actuate pitch through the water going up and down uh, without even using the fins. So it's really low drag, and uh, it's meant to be pretty slippery in the water. And here we've got our communications mast. We've got GPS, iridium satellite in the mast. We've got cell comms. And then we've got some backup systems here should everything go down. We can still locate the vehicle via satellite or via VHF radio.